What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out something called the Bloodhound LSR. From what I understand, this is a land speed record vehicle. I think based off of the title, it got up to 628 miles per hour so far. But from what I understand, it's actually trying to far surpass that. Really? I actually want to look this up to learn a little bit more about it. But basically, I think we're literally going to see them reach zero to 628 miles per hour in 50 seconds. I can't even comprehend that. I can't comprehend that either. <laughs> that is mind blowing. Um, so anyways, guys, go ahead and check out a little bit more about what the Bloodhound LSR is. So the Bloodhound LSR, formerly known as the Bloodhound SSC, is a British land vehicle designed to travel at supersonic speeds with the intention of setting a new world land speed record. Super the aero-shaped car under development since 2008 is powered by a jet engine oh and will be fitted with an additional <laughs> rocket engine. Wait, 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 wait. I love it. It's, got, it's powered by a jet engine, but it's going to be or maybe already is fitted with an additional rocket engine. I don't even know how that works. Okay, I was about to ask. I wonder what the current land speed record is because uh, 628 seems like it would be the record. Yeah. But it's a 763 okay. is the current. Okay. Uh, would the vehicle be, be able to achieve up to 1,000 miles per hour? Wow. The venue for high-speed testing and future world land speed record attempts is the Hack Scheme Pan in the Mir area of the Northern Cape, South Africa. Okay. An area 12 miles long and 3 miles wide was identified as suitable with the first runs in October 2019. Further runs in November 2019 achieved a top speed of 628 miles per hour. So I guess we're going to be seeing that November 2019 record of 628 miles per hour. Okay. So when we first saw the, like, the still frame image of where it looked like they're going to be the desert. testing this. I was like, there's no way that's in the UK. Right, yeah, right, yeah, not. yeah. <laughs> this does look like a good area for it. Mm -hmm. Nice and flat. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that thing. It literally looks like a rocket. That's what I was thinking, yeah. It looks like a like a... Like a spaceship, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. Where's the wheels? I can't really. Yeah, no. Is there one up front, like hidden kind of underneath? And then, I don't know. I wonder how many wheels the... it has. Maybe three. Driver is now in Bloodhound. Over. It's a weird feeling. It's very narrow. Oh, they got a line painted. Good morning. The temperature is plus two, five, and pressure nine, two, one, millibar. Wow. Imagine yeah, how he's feeling. Tight quarters. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Wow, look how flat it is. No wonder they do it here. Can you imagine trying to keep that thing straight? No. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the perfect place oh, to do no Wow! Wheels. Yeah, it looks like maybe three wheels. Holy! Uh, Holy. <laughs> wow! Wow. That would be crazy. Going so fast you need a parachute on the back to stop you. I was you. wondering how they would do that. There's no way you could do that with brakes fully. You know what I mean? Gotta have some drag. Yeah. Wow. This is an amazing place to do this. And it looks like it's going so slow, but it's still over 100 miles yeah. an hour right now. Still going like 40 miles per hour. It looks like he's crawling right now. Um, 
What an experience. Control engine confirm all is bloody good and we're just celebrating for a few minutes, over. Oh, 28. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Smashed it. Smashed it. Smashed it. <laughs> Royal Air Force. Oh, is he part of the world? He must be. He must be. Oh, look at the wheels on the back. Yeah, I saw those. They're not as big as I would have thought. Hold on, guys. Look at this right here. You got maybe two wheels here, two on the back. I don't see any more. I wonder if they call air going that fast. I know this is built probably to not obviously catch too much air <laughs> and take off. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you would think at that speed, it would be hard not to catch a little bit of air. Yeah. But I you're wonder, so you're so low to the ground, it probably limits that. I wonder how far they go. Like, how far he went from yeah, the starting no. point to... Well, I mean... How does that... How do, uh, if, I don't know. Let's finish, <laughs> and then I'll ask my question okay. again. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Our first 600 mile an hour run. Personally, I'm just a tiny bit miffed. My job is to control the car as precisely as possible. So I was trying to target about 605, just to make sure we got the six number. We actually finished Rolls up with 628 miles an hour. Um, that is actually outside my control. When I lifted off the throttle, the way the jet engine winds down changes with speed and it gave us more power for about another half second second. And that put the extra speed on finished up another kilometer further down the track. So that's the, uh, you know, the major learning point above 600 is the jet engine performance changes. We'll uh, put that in the plan for next year. All of that said, we came here to try and get, uh, ultimately squeak it up to 600 miles an hour. We achieved that comfortably today. And as a real stretch target, could we reach a thousand kilometers an hour? We are just shy of 1,011 wow. kilometers Look an at hour that thing. today's That's run incredible. at speed. That is a good result to go home with. We yeah. set up today to do 600, and we smashed it. We did 628. That's 1,010, 10, 10 kilometers an hour. And that's us done. That's mission accomplished. That's everything we set out to do in South Africa. So it's that weird moment of it's been achieved. You know, we've pushed this car exactly where we need it to go. We've got all the data and job done. It's just phenomenal feeling. And um, I think yeah. it's also a relief. We've had some low times and this is just a massive high. We've come out here to achieve what we want to achieve. We've excelled there and we're now buzzing. And this car is absolutely ready for land speed record speeds. We're all looking around now, trying to work out what to do next. The reality is we've, we've achieved our goal. We've got here, you know, and you don't run in unnecessarily. Um, so we've got what we want. We're going to check the aero data off the car. And if the aero data off the car is, is all good, um, then that's a wrap. You know, we're done. Don't do, our work here is done for this year. Um, we're going to take the car back to, back to home, to the SGS in Gloucestershire. And, uh, and start looking at the next side of the project. So, um, yeah, really great news. Absolutely over the moon. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, thanks for your support. It's been really great to have everybody with us on social media following us along. The whole team have loved that. It's been such a good feeling from it all. So, uh, yeah, we're all really, really pleased. So, uh, and glad we could provide some entertainment. <laughs> okay, so four wheels, looks like. Those are some weird wheels. They're very thin and they look like plasticky. Thousand and ten kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderbolt departing the fantastic hack scheme pan for the last time this deployment. Wow. That's awesome. That was incredible, guys. Uh, but I do have a question. You were just mentioning one of the questions I had, sort of like I was curious about these wheels mm -hmm. and like Obviously, this was these these tires or wheels. I don't even see tires. I have no idea. No, it looks like a solid piece. Right, and and I'm guessing obviously a specialty made for the desert, for the and sand, for the high speed, and for the high speeds. Yeah. All that, yeah, yeah. But if anyone knows, let us know in the comments what this is made of and like uh, the mechanism behind <laughs> the reason for what this looks like. Yeah. And I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we have four wheels total. Um, but uh, this this was incredible, guys. I almost want to go see that again. 
One just thing that part. I'm wondering is with the land speed record thing, do they have a specific distance they have to achieve it within? I don't know. Because you would think, I mean. Well, I'm guessing they basically, the point is just to get that speed. It, yeah. it, now, I think that the quicker you, you can get that. You parameters or right, something. Right, but, but I think the quicker you get that speed, the, 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 the harder it's going to be for others to beat your total yeah, record. Sure, sure. Because at some point, perhaps you can reach the top speed but maybe over time numerous vehicles will be able to do that mm -hmm. uh, but some will be able to do it faster than others perhaps and that would the ultimate fastest time to the top speed yeah like would zero ultimately to be blank yeah 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 but this this was incredible i want to see this little part again guys for a second look at the do you see the um the screens okay he had already put on the uh mm-hmm there they go. Hmm. I just can't even imagine how that would feel. I, it looks so smooth. <laughs> it does. Uh. That is mind blowing. Look at <laughs> Wow. Oh, it gives me chills. Like. <sighs> That's incredible. I mean, really, that is so incredible. I mean, like. Human ingenuity, man, mm -hmm. at its finest. Yeah, it's really Wow. Cool. But I, I am so curious, like, how these tires work. That is, like, something I was thinking about the whole time. Like, how exactly does that work? I mean, I can see this was built to be very, very aerodynamic. <laughs> Obviously, you'd have yeah. to have it that way. Um, I... Uh, that's just amazing. I wonder what's happened since 2019. We just read in Wikipedia that uh, this was set in tw November 2019. And uh, yeah, that was six that, years ago. Yeah, and that was it. Obviously, this is not something easy to do, and I, you know, I'm guessing it's going. They have to keep on going back to the drawing board to try to. But that's get a that pretty big chunk of time. So yeah, I think there's been some progress or some improvement between yeah. then and now. Yeah. Even if it's not this vehicle, I'm sure there's others that are also going for the land speed record. Yeah, there probably are. I'm sure there <laughs> are. Um, I'd, I'd like to take a look at the uh, actual land speed record at some point. I don't know when that was set, but um, yeah. obviously it was, what, 700 and some miles per hour? I think 763. I can't even imagine that. This is 628, and this is mind-blowing. I wonder if it's the same. I guess it was the same place. It's interesting how they have these these lines painted. I've never seen this place before. Yeah. But this is the perfect place to do this. I can't it really think of is. anywhere is so flat for so when, long. When we first saw like the very first image still frame for the video, I thought it was a road. It looked like a road, but it's mm, not. It's no. just the desert. So uh, what do you think? You think this would turn heads if you could drive this down the street? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to have this in Jasper. <laughs> Enter it into the parade <laughs> next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, this was a very interesting. Let us know what you think we should check out next in terms of this type of stuff. We love this type of thing. We love learning about records and seeing just, you know, crazy, insane feats mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, this do. is not something you come across every day. Um, so let us know what you think we should check out next. But I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.